The mysterious Markwasi ruins, left behind by a long-lost advanced civilization? The mysterious ruins of Markwasi are home to countless curious structures believed to have been carved, thousands of years ago, by an advanced, unknown civilization that inhabited the Andes mountain range. The so-called Markwasi ruins are a group of granite rocks located on a plateau on the Andes mountain range, in Peru. These massive stones are notable for their curious shapes and forms, unique to the Andes mountain range. A number of theories have been proposed as to what they may be in an attempt to explain their formation. For some authors and explorers, these massive statues were carved in the distant past by an ancient civilization that inhabited the Andes mountain range. Others claim that they are the work of Mother Nature and their similarities to animals, humans and other shapes are the result of Paeidolia. Located around 80 km from Lima, and at an altitude of 4,000 meters, the so-called Markwasi ruins are an unsolved puzzle that has captivated the interest and imagination of authors since their discovery. The site's stone formations are thought to be around 10,000 years old. Supposedly a carving of a human face. For many people, these ancient ruins mark the spot of one of the most important, prominent and enigmatic mystical sites in Peru. The site is perhaps best described as a forest of stones in the middle of the Andean plateau. The stones, however, are unlike any other geological formation anywhere else on the planet. Made of curious forms created either by nature or human hands, Marukwasi is home to countless rocks that appear to have been carved and sculpted in the Andean mountains. When viewed from a specific point of view or direction, and in conditions of adequate lighting, we can witness what is best described as a humongous library in stone. The Monument to Humanity Rock Sculpture at Markwasi. Different authors and researchers have different views about Markwasi. To some, they are nothing but natural formations that humans identified with well-known forms and shapes. To others, they are evidence of highly complex civilizations existing in South America before written history. The enigmatic site was explored for the first time in 1952 by Daniel Russo, a Peruvian explorer. It was Russo who discovered and identified the curious shapes of the rocks on the Andean mountain range. It was Russo's belief that the Markwasi rock formations were sculpted by an extremely advanced ancient civilization that existed in the area. Many people who have traveled to the site to see the ruins for themselves agree with Russo. What are the odds that there are so many rocks resembling animals? humans, religious symbols or other shapes. As Russo further investigated the site, he developed a theory that in the distant past, a highly advanced culture, hitherto unknown, which he called the Masma civilization existed in the region. Ruined structure at Markwasi. The Masma civilization, an unknown people to history were supposedly the guardians of a pantheistic religion that connects their origins with all other ancient civilizations of the world. Russo went on and published all of his discoveries in his book, Markwasi, The Story of a Fantastic Discovery, in 1974. Russo was convinced that the ancient ruins carried a coded message left for us to discover. Despite Russo's intents to decipher the meaning and message of the sculptures, Russo assured that he had only been able to photograph and study ten of Markwasi monuments. These majestic monolithic sculptures stand out for the inexplicable fact that, depending on the angle you look at them, the date of the year and the light conditions present in the day, each of the sculptures show more than one different image. 
There is even an area on the site referred to as the Monument to Humanity, where you are able to identify up to 14 different faces during the day, and two figures only visible in the light of the moon. The site is also home to the so-called El Condor, a geological formation that varies in form every 60 degrees, others like El Filino can only be seen in the week of the winter solstice. Furthermore, there is even a monument dubbed the African Queen at Markwasi which has been compared on numerous occasions to the Great Sphinx of Giza. Markwasi is also home to a mysterious formation called Tuirat, an alleged statue said to resemble the Egyptian goddess of the same name. Another curious rock formation at Markwasi resembling an Egyptian god. It has been theorized that all of the above ruins at Markwasi shown an undoubted connection between the ancient civilization that created the curious shapes and ancient civilizations such as the ancient Egyptian. Other rock formations at Markwasi such as the face of Markwasi, even resemble according to some authors the famous face on Mars. Many people argue that in addition to being home to countless ancient statues, the alleged ruins of Markwasi even have healing powers. The site is allegedly home to dozens of mysterious energy vortexes. There are stories of researchers that visited the ruins and detected the existence of more than 20 energy vortexes. These supposed energy centers possess different qualities or functions. It is believed that, that there are around 10 energy centers that are functional during the day, on specific days or weeks. Other energy centers are said to become powerful depending on different phases of the moon. All of these mysterious vortexes are said to possess powerful healing powers. So, are all these mysterious monuments really the result of pareidolia and us humans identifying similar shapes in nature? Or, as Ruzo claimed, that the Markwasi site was, in fact, a massive library carved in stone, left behind by an ancient, unknown civilization that inhabited the Andes mountains thousands of years ago?